Welcome to another episode in the adventures in Electroland of the Audi 80 going to an 8E, having its engine taken out and having Nissan Leaf motor in 2012, coupled up to gearbox of uh, said Audi and powered by its inverter plus the brains of the operation logic board down here with battery pack from 2015 leaf 20 uh, 24 kilowatt hour pack from uh, the 2015 leafs and um, where are we now we are at the point where I'm having a bit of a good jump ahead now because we're getting the mechanicals together and um, and yeah so what we've done uh, over the weekend was um, well my brother gave me a take out the uh, machinist he fabbed up the the adapter plate uh, not the adapter plate the coupler which we'll show you in a second because now this does this <laughs> Now we have movement. That was in first gear. Throw it up and see if it's neutral. It's a bit of movement, a bit of play in it, but um, that's because we haven't got the adapter plate in yet. So I haven't got the adapter plate to make the two together. So there's a minute amount of movement just being um, it's just being amplified by the fact that, you know. There's free movement here, it's sitting on a couple of bits of blocks of wood. Uh, but yeah, um, here, have a closer look. So, as you can see, <clears throat> you can see in there, let me get a torch that works. Oh, I can never find a torch that works. I know there's one over here. Oh, I know where it is. So, oh, I've been doing some painting as well. That's the, um, the holder for the, uh, the power steering. Um, there is a high voltage junction box, which I'm not going to talk about today because there's a lot of, I've got a lot of videos in, in it and also a bit of a Q&A for anyone who's watching just to go, am I doing this right? So, torch. What else we got? Yeah, that's about all we've got going on here. Oh, there's, I, um, I cannibalized the, uh, DC to DC converter charger, the whole box. Um, which I don't need anymore, but in it I got lots of nice contactors and more bus bars and stuff that I can use for later. So let's go back around here. You'll be seeing that later on as well. Okay. So if you have a look in there, you can see the coupler. I'll take it out now in a sec. I'm going to spin her up. There is a bit of messing. I wouldn't worry about that. Um, I used to hope not. <laughs> no, it won't be. I promise. I promise it won't be. It's all going to be good. Let's just sit you back down here on this motorcycle holder thing. Okay, sitting pretty? Good. Now, let's just knock this off. They're uh, off. Off, good. Disconnect, and we can just simply go like this. And a closer look at this little piece of engineering. So, this side is the spline end from a uh, that Fiat Multipla clutch, and yeah. Yeah, it is. Actually, yeah, it is. Sorry, I was just about to correct myself. And that fits onto the output shaft of the motor. Over here, we have the Audi 80 uh, clutch, cannibalized. And then it was a big lump of uh, mild steel, which my bro um, managed to drill out, sleeve, weld, everything on the lathe, and um, 
it's all you need. It's it's basic, but that's that's what you need. You can get these other ones which you can have bespoke. You would um you'd um brooch get the proper uh what you call it spline sizes and you brooch uh, so two couples um uh, a couple on either side and they kind of interlink like their fingers like that and in between you have polyurethane bushes so there'd be a bit of give but um for the moment to get us going um this is it so put that back in very happy with that all fits together, lovely, in together. So, um, that aside, um, what have I got? Gonna show a couple of videos here. Well, just the one are we looking at? Yeah, yeah. Um, battery box. So I went on from, I moved along from, uh, how, I know you loved the um, cardboard battery box, but we moved on to metal. Sorry about that. So, moved on to that. Again, it's all about recycling, upcycling what we have. And that tub, that the 24 kilowatt pack came in from the leaf. It's a big lump of like metal. And it'd be a shame to just chuck it. So um, I'm gonna show you here what it did to uh, make use of that and uh, we'll come back later. If you have a look inside, so this is where the rear pack used to sit. She's the bolt in there. There's the bolt along here. And then it had three here, three down the bottom. So I was thinking, right, okay, if we're gonna cut it, we'll cut it down here. That's all we're gonna need. We can build up a side here with sheet and uh, a bit more metal, a bit of a box section. That's your single skin there. You have a bit of extra strength there underneath um, and you have this here so look at it you've got kind of this this is welded to a skin here which forms the tub then you have this outer protection which sort of all sort of spot welded all the way along and to here as well you can see this all the way along so I was thinking, right, what if I drilled out all these spot welds and took away this outer protection, which I don't really need. It's not going to be this form part of the structural integrity of the car, of the leaf. I don't really need that anymore. So, if I was to sort of, okay, first of all, let's do the cut here. Let's get this separated. Then, what we'll then do is put this back down. We we'll start to drill out these spots to see if we can peel away this outer protective skin all the way down here. So I mean going like bang bang all the way along here. Take that away. Leave this in because I think this is the central spine of it, which will give us some really good structural integrity, a bit of protection underneath. And yeah, see what we can do. We could reuse this top section. You'd be folding, doing a bit of cutting, filleting, and you'd be sort of bringing that down and adding a bit more plate, which you could use from over here. We're using some of that. And uh, this will have the, the curve here that's needed. You can see the curve there. Uh, so, yeah. So, you can encase it all. On the back, then, you'll have the, I think it's positive and negative terminals there. You have those isolated, all sealed up. This will be going to stay to the back of the car. There's the front where the suspension will be here, and then the back, and then the positive negative coming up into the boot. And then um, we'll have a service disconnect in there as well. Maybe the charger back there when we decided yes. So, um, yeah. Right. Once we start up, we'll drill it. Try and start uh, 
good English. So tedious. I stopped and started chopping. So already, it's not too much weight. But uh, I still want to chop away. Continue what I was doing here around. And uh, yeah. It. Not pretty. Bit of tidying up to do. Sharp edges round that off. Keep the lip there when the top goes on. But do a bit of filling in places and smoothing. After that, be alright. Inside. Yeah, you can see. So I can do that. I'm gonna cut it uh, down here. And then the sheet will then, so they're the fixing points. I'll just bring it up there, but uh, yeah, it's good. Nicely tidied up. Here's the battery, there's the box. So, since we put the box in, let's, and that kind of almost fitted, let's just a bit of a measure because this was. That was 40 by 90. So if we look down here, what we got? We got just over 94 by 40. So yeah, so imagine that there's the car. It's gonna sit in like so. Um, battery pack will sit like yeah, yeah. It'll sit like that. Battery terminals will be here at the back, which is good because there's plenty of room at the back. They will then come up into a small junction box in the boot. Um, that's good. So what I'll do is I will another time chop the top of the clamshell to fit. I'm going to build up a plate here to lift there. Can I create get a kind of get it designed in such a way that it can be just um, bolted down just with four bolts. One, two, three, four, and somehow. Um, yeah, so that's good. So if I could, I would lift that up, up, bang down there. That's nice. Um, when that shell goes on, I mean, I've, to keep it as narrow as possible, I can cut off because that usually comes out in a lip and it goes bolt, bolt, bolt all the way around. You can tie that up. So we can just have the, the top of the shell come in here. We can just rib, rib nut along here. One, two, three, four. So you can just attach along there and the same along here. So that's good. So four along there, three maybe, and then same here. And then you have it all sealed. There's still a bit of seal residue there. It doesn't need to be any. I can, I can put something in there to make it a bit more weather tight. Um, but uh, yeah, it's good. Okay, that's it about there. Okay. Fixing it to the chassis is another thing, but um, probably end up bringing up rails that attach to the, the main rail there. Okay. This is 
you can see looks good when I mean, these are compressed that rail the main trailing arms will go up a bit and, um, yeah they'll go up another 20 mil so again we'll need to check this when it's fully loaded um, but initial view is should be able to should be okay. Now, from there, there's 200 there. There's the top. We've got an extra 40 mil to play with. So that's 200 there. See the top of the battery pack. Include the skin on top. See, another 20. I've got another 20 on top to play with. I'm gonna put it together, mock it up somehow, get the, the top of this on, and just see how much we are actually hitting the likes of this or this. As one of the guys said in uh, on the comment section, he says, rather than cut this, why not take a big hammer to it and bring it in? Because at the moment, as you see. Right there. Now we do have a bit more that we can bring it forward, but you don't want to be interfering with the the trailing arms. There. So you make sure you're clear of that. Yeah, a bit more test fitting. Let's see where we are. But I'm glad with the width, width-wise, it sits nicely. Plenty of protection underneath. If you did happen to hit anything hard, don't intend to, but you know. There we go. It's got the 2D um, printed to scale um, bolt pattern back from the machine shop. They, I, I didn't request this, but um, they wanted me to, to. They posted it out to me, and they said just to uh, offer it up, make sure it all fits okay. So. Offered up to the gearbox, all the outer bolt patterns fit, lovely. <clears throat> and then just centered it here. Yes, I did make a mistake, so I redid it again. And uh, just cut out the holes, so uh, if we bring it over. Lay it on top, light on. And we can just get liner up. One. You two. Four. Five. And there was just one that was m just out. So I was able to just amend the file by uh, 10 mil. That's all it was. I think I'd measured it at 145 and it was actually 135. So I amended the file, the step file, sent it back to them, and uh, they should be cutting that out in the next. Um, Hopefully tonight, maybe. And uh, get the adapter plate back. Start putting it together. So that's that. That's the, uh, as I was showing to you, the, um, the, the tub over there, which is going to fit underneath this. Um, thinking about it overnight, I think what we'll be able to do is underneath the, the, the petrol tank in this was held in by straps. It was basically two straps which went around and bolted up into the chassis, onto the chassis rails. I think we'll be able to do the same with this. It'll make putting it in and taking it out very easy. Um, and then just, um, you can see in there, not sure. In the boot, again, I'll get my trusty torch. The packs will um, come up in around this neck of the woods and I'll be able to put another um, point here just to access the positive and negative terminals and have a um, high voltage junction box, battery disconnect, perhaps the charger back here as well. So there's plenty of room to play with. And uh, yep, that's So yeah, so that is it's so far.
bit of a delay on the uh, doctor plate, but um, it is imminent. And when that happens, that all gets sandwiched together, last few checks, and then it gets hoisted into the engine bay, into the black hole, make that disappear. And we can start then getting that mounted that way, up on top. Um, there's a couple of mounting points on this, so obviously the gearbox has two mounting points in the chassis. This has a couple of various mounting points, so I'll be able to fan them up to where the engine used to attach to in the engine bay as well. And then from them, create a sort of frame up on top for that, plus that high voltage junction box I showed you earlier. And then it's a case of a couple of choices. I can either take the full pack, I probably don't want it, it's a big beast to put in the back there, or I'll just use the Prius pack. Uh, more than likely just use the Prius pack just for that test, just for that final, that, that initial, the inaugural roll of it in and out. And um, yeah, because we've got our power brakes, we've got a power steering, we just need power power. And uh, yeah, that will be it. So thanks for watching. Um, if you like what you've seen, if you like, if you know somebody else who likes this kind of madness, spread the word, uh, like it, share it, subscribe it. And um, hopefully we'll have more of, okay, it's not connected, but so hopefully we'll have more of um, some proper spinning action in the coming weeks. I'm talking like a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'd like, like to think that. Oh, I also, the last thing, yeah, I need to get that pedal in there as well. Small bit of fabrication in the, below in the foot well, but that just goes in. Be a bit of wiring. I think the wiring will be a bit tedious, but uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. First spin. Thank you.